He voted against Trump's first impeachment, but it's not yet known how Syracuse area congressmen will vote on the second. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan is live in Syracuse for us. Andrew, what is the very latest from Congressman John Katko? Well, Christy, we don't know, and nor does he, apparently. A text from a spokesperson for the congressman in the last hour says, quote, we're still reviewing everything. Other than that, no specific position on impeachment since the House introduced the resolution earlier today. We've been reaching out to his office several times, and that's the best we have so far. His office is still reviewing it. The congressman tweeted Friday about the death of a Capitol Police officer, but the last thing he said about this general topic, removing the president from office was on Thursday. He said invoking the 25th Amendment, which is the cabinet rendering Trump unfit for office, would take too long if Trump challenged it. But the congressman from Syracuse, the Republican John Katko, seemed more open to impeachment. Obviously, this uh, an impeachment proceeding this time would have a heck of a lot more um, meat than, the, than the, the, the ridiculous thing they did last time. Um, and uh, uh, so, I mean, if it came to four, based on the charges, I think it would be a much more uh, bipartisan effort. Now, but I wouldn't be able to render a, a decision until I saw what the charges were, but for, uh, obviously based on a kind of yesterday, he would be in serious trouble, in my opinion. Roger Misso, the Democrat who wanted to challenge Congressman Katko last November but lost in the primary to Dana Bolter, has a challenge for John Katko. He says, impeach him or resign yourself. Live in Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.